hi guys welcome to my channel so today i'll be talking about relaxed hair why i won't be relaxing my hair again in this 2024 yes this is my hair and i noticed relaxer has done more harm to me than good I used a particular relaxer and I noticed it really broke my hair. So my hair is seriously breaking. Now I don't have equal hair. Some parts are long, some are um, some are long, some are short. So I have decided not to relax my hair again. The chemical process of relaxing hair can leave your hair very brittle with increased breakage as it loses its distinct elasticity. Relaxing increases scalp sensitivity, which may lead to severe irritation, chemical burns, scarring, and permanent hair loss, as reported by almost 100 participants. The process of relaxing hair leaves the hair weak, brittle, and prone to breakage. It can even burn your skin, cause permanent damage to the scalp, and lead to hair loss. Several studies have found that chemical hair strengtheners have harmful effects on the body. Last year, the National Institute of Health published a major study linking chemical hair strengtheners to a higher risk of uterian cancer. After handling some natural hairs, I have decided not to relax my hair again. Yes, I did some natural DIYs for some persons with natural hair and I saw how beautiful their hair looks. Yes, their hair looks so beautiful and thick. I love the thickness of their hair. See how light my hair looks? Weightless, not looking healthy. And this time around, I have decided to go natural. Yes, I have decided to go natural because... I love what natural hair looks like. I love the thickness. I love the elasticity. I love how beautiful and full it usually looks. So, in this year, I won't be relaxing my hair again. This time, I'll be going natural. So, I don't know if I should just cut my hair or just go and just uh, transition to natural. So, now... I don't know if I should just cut my hair or I should just transition to natural. I can't just imagine <laughs> cutting off this whole hair. Yes, but I have no choice because I want to achieve that beautiful natural hair. So for now, I've not concluded if I'll be cutting my hair or if I will just transition to natural hair. And since I have discovered many ways to make um the hair soft okay like the persons i treated their natural hair they had the strong hair but beautiful but the treatment i used on their hair made it so soft and beautiful so since i now know some of the uh, natural remedies i can use to soften my natural hair so i'm ready to go with that natural hair look yes i can't wait to start my natural hair journey i can't just wait to start it and just go natural this year Yes, I want that full, beautiful, thick hair. And there's something I have not been doing also that also affected my hair. I've not been trimming my hair. Yes, yes. If you want a very healthy hair, you need to trim your hair. So, I think before I just go to turn natural, maybe I won't cut my hair. I'll start by trimming my hair and I won't apply any relaxer on my hair again. So I'll keep on trimming maybe every week or twice um, in a month. So let's see how it goes. So please, if you are watching this video and you've done, you've transitioned from lax hair to natural hair, I would love to hear from you. How was it easy? What will you advise? Will you advise me to just cut off my hair and just start from scratch or I should transition my hair? So... I'm going to miss my hair though if i cut it i'm going to miss it it's not as bad as i as i say i know if i trim my hair my hair will become healthy to become good again 
but i want to just go nature i just love that natural look i love that fullness it gives i love the thickness i love it so i've made up my mind there's no two ways about it yes i've made up my mind the only thing i just need is okay should i just cut off the hair or should i transition to natural so please if you have done that i would love to hear from you in the comment section okay i'd love to hear from you in the comment section do it to so tell me how uh, it went with yours if you transitioned and how easy it was though i have some natural treatments which i'll be using to make it easy but you know sometimes it's not as easy as we think so i would really love to hear from you if just cutting it will be better and if it will grow faster i think cutting it will make it grow faster because the hair needs to rest you know just being on low cut for a while yes being on low cut for a while then start up again so i don't know how I'll look when i go on low cut though i've done that before i've been on low cut it was cute but you know sometimes i just love to just uh, flaunt my hair make a style with it because i hardly make my hair when i want to go out and i don't really like using a wig so sometimes when my hair is clean when my hair is looking so beautiful i just style it and i go to any occasion i want to go to with my hair so now i just want to just admire this hair even if i feel it's not healthy enough i still feel it's beautiful what do you think i still feel it's beautiful and yeah something good can still come out of it <laughs> something good can still come out of, out of it so look at the length so my hair needs i need to trim my hair so before i conclude if i'll be going on low cut i think i need a trim is seriously breaking seriously breaking so before i conclude if i'm going on low cut i need a trim a serious trim so aside that my hair is not looking healthy as i want and um, relaxer has done harm to many people because i know some persons that testify that when they started using relaxer they discovered that they had fibroid or they started developing fibroid as a person said that they discovered when they started using a um, relaxer their fibroid um, was just growing it was just increasing in size yes it was just increasing in size and some group of people also said when they stopped using a um, relaxer they noticed that the fibroid started shrinking now that is to tell you that this chemical we apply to our hair is not good especially for those of us that will apply it and leave it more than the estimated time you know most times in the relaxer instruction they will tell you to leave it for 15 20 minutes but you notice that some of us will leave it on our hair for 30 minutes one hour as long as we don't feel hot i could remember those days when i would leave relaxer on my hair for an hour or more because i don't feel pain but it's really causing harm to our system but we don't know so as we're trying to go natural as we're trying to just uh, improve our health become healthy more with all what is happening in the society you know increase in cancer fibroid breast lump and the rest of them we also want to try as much as we can to avoid those things that causes and um, these same um, tumors so we want to try as much as we can and relax that from research relaxer also is one of the things that causes things like that so as we are going natural we're trying to eat uh, well we're trying to eat well we're trying to incorporate many good things to our diet we should not forget that relaxer is a chemical just like mm, some chemical some creams can cause cancer relaxer is also one of them so if you want to just have a natural life like you want to go natural you want a healthy life i feel eliminating relaxer we go will go a very long way to help us okay we it will go a very long way to help us to improve our overall health so i am starting my natural hair journey and i'm starting it this year 2024 i'm not 
apply relaxer on this hair again so i can't just wait to see how beautiful my natural hair will look how strong <laughs> it will it will be but i'm really working hard to make sure that it doesn't stress me yes i'm working hard to make sure it doesn't stress me so guys let's journey together okay let's journey together and let's see how beautiful this natural hair will look like i'm just playing with my hair because i know that very soon this hair is coming down yes <laughs> i'm just playing with it i'm trying to admire it the way it used to look before like the beauty the length when i flaunt it when i make some styles how people admire my hair so and one thing about natural hair is if you don't manage it well, it, it's it's kind of irritating yes i'm sorry to say that there's something about natural hair i feel natural hair has more work to do because if you don't manage it well if you don't manage it well it doesn't look good it looks so dull so i have a i have lots of work to do when i start my natural hair journey and i know that i trust myself because i'll be trying many remedies including the ones i already know the ones i told people and it's working for them so i'm going to just add everything of course i love trying new things so now i'm also going to try new things on my natural hair i've done many videos many i've tried many natural things on my hair my relaxed hair and i noticed some were good some were not good some broke my hair some made my hair to grow extremely well so I can't wait to just try those things on my natural hair when my natural hair start growing for now i don't have much um, on the growth so i'll just be trimming 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 until i notice i don't have any relaxed hair on my scalp again and i can't wait to see that day i can't wait to see that day when i will have my full 100 percent natural hair no relaxer on it again so for now i've not concluded if i'm cutting my hair or if i'm transitioning but i'd love to hear from you if you feel that i need to cut my hair or i need to transition okay so guys that is it on my natural hair journey so i'm starting my natural hair journey this year thanks for watching i would love to see my next video don't forget to comment and say something on the comment section so that i will know which one i really appreciate it yes please i will really appreciate your comments if i should cut this hair that looks like what i don't know hmm? it's kind of looking thin looking thin so i'm just going to try all i can to make the best out of it Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want. And I pray, all I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by and everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive in that better day I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better yeah. days Kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and it's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want 